one significant initiative at a time. African cities are changing. The list is enormous, ranging from gorgeous skyscrapers to megacities constructed from nothing. Africa's cities are receiving a much-needed face of thanks to these multi-million dollar development projects. But this is not just for show. By creating job opportunities, enhancing quality of life, and attracting investors, the projects have significant economic and social significance for both the population and the government. Here are 25 ongoing African projects that are noteworthy for 2023. 25. TAMS Hydropower Project TAMS Hydropower is a multipurpose project that is now being built in the Barrow River Valley in southwest Ethiopia. The project area is found where the descending, densely forested hills of the Barrow River Basin meet the alluvial plains of the lower Barrow River, with a dam height of 248 meters, a reservoir area of 76 kilometers square, and a live storage capacity of 4.8 billion meters cube. The projected TAMS reservoir would have all of these features. The hydroelectric facility would significantly meet the region's energy needs in a country where a lack of electricity prevents economic growth. One of Ethiopia's most important infrastructure initiatives is the TAMS Hydropower Project. The TAMS is said to be nearing completion and will most certainly be completed by 2023 however, we're keeping our fingers crossed. 24. Lapset Project In addition to being a component of the Kenyan project, Lapset is one of the major active mega-projects in Ethiopia. On March 2, 2012, Lapset was formally introduced by Kenyan President Mwai Kibaki, Ethiopian Prime Minister Mail Zanawi, and South Sudanese President Salva Kiir. The Lapset Corridor Program, which connects South Sudan, Ethiopia, and Kenya, is the biggest and most extensive infrastructure project in Eastern Africa. This enormous project includes a brand new 32 berth port in Lamu, Kenya, interregional highways from Lamu to Iziolo, Iziolo to Juba, Iziolo to Addis Abeba, and Lamu to Garson, an oil pipeline from Lamu to Iziolo, Iziolo to Juba, an oil pipeline from Lamu to Iziolo, Iziolo to Addis Abeba, and interregional standard gauge railway lines. It is no doubt that this project is huge and as such has been in development for a very long time, is wishful thinking to believe that development will be completed in 2023, but given the progress of the project, nothing is impossible at this point. 23. The Mesub Tower Mesub Tower is distinctive and exemplifies Ethiopian culture. When the public-private partnership project is finished, it will help the country's tourism industry and improve its reputation. The 70-story construction will be situated in Addis Ababa, the capital city of the nation. It will stand on a plot of land that is 20,000 square meters in size and be 250 meters high. Among other things, the $681 million project will include hotels, commercial centers, a cultural center that represents all of Ethiopia, a gym, and a golf club. The development is anticipated to be completed soon as construction accelerates, we can only hope that construction reaches completion in 2023. 22. Marine Drive Accra Project The Marine Drive Accra Project is a 241-acre waterfront redevelopment plan for Accra that extends from Independence Square to the coast and culminates in a coastal overlook with expansive, dramatic scenery across the Gulf of Guinea. The project will transform this waterfront into a new public infrastructure with commercial, exhibition centers, offices, a beach soccer field, recreational, and retail facilities. The National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C., among other notable structures, were designed by Sir David Ajay, a Ghanaian-British architect who heads Ajay Associates, a firm with studios in Accra, London, and New York. The project is being developed by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts, and Culture. The project's primary goal is to use the tourism industry as a transformative economic force. The project is another one to look out for in 2023 as construction continues. 21. Apollonia City Development Project 
The Greater Accra Metropolitan Area's new metropolis of Apollonia City is being built on a 2,325-acre plot of land between the villages of Oibi and Afinya, about 20 kilometers to the east of Accra. The project is quickly emerging as the go-to location for businesses and individuals looking for a healthier environment outside of Accra's congested city limits. It offers a place to live, work, shop, entertain, relax, and much more. All in a well-designed natural setting with the highest infrastructural standards. Apollonia City is being constructed by Rendezvous, Africa's largest city developer with more than 30,000 acres of forward-thinking projects in the growth paths of significant cities in Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Apollonia City has been in development for a while now, and we can keep our fingers crossed on this as we can very much see this project sprout to life in 2023. Twenty. The El Hamdania Project In El Hamdania, the Algerian government is developing the nation's first deepwater port. The port, which will cost $3.3 billion, can handle 25 million tons annually. Additionally, the port's 23 terminals can accommodate up to 6.5 million cargo annually. The port at El Hamdania will be the second largest deepwater port on the continent when it is finished. Surprisingly, the port's location gives it a competitive advantage over Tanger Med, the port of Morocco. This is due to the likelihood that it will replace another major hub that serves the Mediterranean and North African nations. The project is nearing completion and who knows we just might see it come to fruition in 2023. 19. Tanzania's Standard Goods Railway Project Tanzania is one of the few African nations developing a network of standard gauge railroads. Tanzania will be connected to neighboring nations via the railway project, including Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. There are five main phases to the project. However, only the first and second stages were in use in 2022. From Das es Salaam to Makutapora, the two segments together total 550 kilometers. Up to this point, the first two phases have cost around $2.35 billion overall. We expect this project to be fully usable in 2023. 18. Kribi Deep Seaport The Dula port will be relieved of congestion by the Deep Seaport in Kribi, Cameroon. Infrastructure construction for the Kribi Seaport is done in stages and is necessary for its development. The project's initial phase was finished in 2015. It comprises of a terminal with a carrying capacity of up to 1.5 million tons and a 350-meter long quay with a depth of 15 meters. The length of the dock will be increased by 700 meters during the project's second phase. The Kribe Deep Seaport will be the biggest port in Cameroon and one of the biggest in Africa once it is finished. On May 2, 2021, the second phase underwent acceptance testing and was put into use. However, the country will only actually see the real benefits of use in 2023. 17. Grand Egyptian Museum On a plot of ground measuring 480,000 square meters, there sits this archaeological museum. The Grand Egyptian Museum which would cost over $550 million, will be the biggest archaeological museum in the world. Ancient Egyptian artifacts, including the entire Tutankhamun collection, will be housed there. The museum's other displays include a solar bark, the Khufu ship, and 22 mummies. Early in 2023, the museum will be officially opened. 16. F. Tower the 283-meter-tall F-Tower, another ambitious building project in Africa, is a skyscraper. The structure will be situated in Abidjan, the Ivory Coast capital. After the iconic tower in Egypt, the F-Tower will be the second-tallest skyscraper in Africa when it is finished. A 200-seat theater and 64 levels of office space make up the F-Tour. The project is nearing completion and it's hoped that it will be completed in late 2023. 15. Kumasi Airport Expansion Project The development of the Kumasi Airport in Ghana is costing $75.23 million. 
The runway will be extended from 1.9 kilometers to 2.3 kilometers as part of the second phase of the expansion project, which started in 2018. Larger planes will be able to land at the airport because to this increase in capacity. A new passenger terminal as well as multiple service facilities are also being built as part of the project. When finished, the new terminal will be able to accommodate more than 1 million travelers. The Ghanaian government is working on a larger scheme to promote tourism there, which includes this. The airport is currently 77% finished and it is hoped that it will be completed in 2023. Fourteen. Grand Theatre of Rabat In Rabat, the Moroccan capital, there is a performing arts theatre with a floor area of 55,000 square meters. The theatre has 1,800 seats, a 7,000-seat open-air amphitheatre, a rehearsal room, and a restaurant. The initiative, which will cost roughly $143 million, intends to support artistic and cultural growth in Morocco. The Grand Theatre of Rabat is a component of King Mohammed VI's expansive plan, which also includes a new archaeological museum, a national archive, residential areas, and a business zone. The project is likely to be completed in 2023. 13. Redstone Solar Thermal Power Project The South African Department of Energy announced the Redstone Solar Thermal Project in 2015. The plant will cost roughly $715 million and produce up to 100 megawatts. The facility, the first of its kind in Africa, would use a special solar technology with a 30-year operating lifespan. The device will provide consistent electricity to more than 200,000 homes throughout South Africa at times of high demand and can store up to 12 hours of full load energy. The project is slowly reaching completion, and we can only hope that it will be realized in 2023. 12. National Railway Project Ghana To improve logistics, the Ghanaian government is building a network of interconnecting train lines. The railway will link Ghana's important cities and vital mineral locations. Rehabilitating the dilapidated colonial railway is another aspect of the project. The ancient colonial railway in Ghana is 947 kilometers long. The new railway project now has a total length of 4,600 kilometers. The project's estimated cost is $21.5 billion. As the project nears completion, it is hoped that it will finally be completed in 2023. 11. Kakilo Kabatha Dam Angola is currently building the hydroelectric power facility, the Kakilo Kabaho Dam, with a projected capacity of 2,172 megawatts, will house the largest hydroelectric station in the nation. The dam will cost around $4.5 billion and is 553 meters broad and 103 meters high. Most of the 2,172 megawatts of electricity that the dam produces will be used by Angola. The remaining products will be exported to nations in southern Africa. The plant is almost complete, and we are hoping that we would see it operational in 2023. 10. Expansion of the Suez Canal Egypt The Egyptian government's ambition to widen the Suez Canal is unquestionably one of the largest building initiatives in the continent. An essential maritime route linking Europe and Asia is the Suez Canal. It is also a significant source of income for Egypt. In 2015, the canal underwent previous expansion work. However, additional additions are planned by the Egyptian government. The design calls for extending the canal's southernmost 30 kilometers to its southernmost 70 kilometers. The dam will also be dredged in order to raise the canal's depth from 66 to 72 feet. Ships will be able to transit the canal more easily as a result, and the likelihood of another ever given event will decrease. The canal is almost nearing completion and we're hoping it will be done in 2023. 9. Greater Tortu Amiyan Project This liquefied natural gas project is located between Mauritania and Senegal offshore in deep water. When the project is finished, it will be able to produce 10 million tons of liquefied natural gas annually. The task will be carried out in stages. It's interesting to note that Phase 1's work started in 2019. 
the project will begin generating liquefied natural gas in commercial quantities by the end of this year. The deepest offshore project in Africa is called the Greater Tortu Amiin Project. The project is expected to be complete by late 2023. 8. Leke Deep Seaport In Lagos, Nigeria, there is a deep seaport with many uses. Three terminals, a 1,200-meter quay, three container berths, and a storage yard with 15,000 ground slots are all features of the Leke Deep Seaport. Ships up to 45,000 DWQs, or dead weight tonnage, can be handled by the ports. Additionally, plans are in place for future additions that would increase the capacity to 160,000 DDoT. When finished this year, it will be Nigeria's deepest seaport, according to the official report. The port is nearing completion and we hope we can see it operational in 2023. 7. New Administrative Capital Monorail from the Cairo Governorate to the New Cairo and the new administrative capital. The second segment of Egypt's monorail travels. It connects 21 stations along its 54-kilometer length, including the stadium, Hisham Barakat, Noori Chatab, the 7th District, the Free Zone, al Moshir Tantawi, Cairo Festival, Chali Fat, Air Force Hospital, al Narjas District, Mohammed Nagib, the American University, Imar, Al Nafora Square, Al Barwa, the Middle Ring Road, Mohammed bin Zayed, Regional Ring Road, Al Masa. This project is absolutely massive, and we can only it would be completed in 2023, but fingers crossed on that one. 6. The 6th of October City Monorail. This is a section of Egypt's two line rail system that is currently being built. The 6th of October monorail connects 12 stations, including Game El Dual Station, Ring Road, El Mariosha, El Mansoria, Cairo and Alexandria, Hyper One, Jihana, Urban Communities Authority, El Hosari, Dar Al Fuad, Industrial Zone, and Express Train. It connects the Giza Governorate with the 6th of October and Sheikh Zayed cities. The rail is 42 kilometers long in total. We truly hope we can see this masterpiece project come to fruition in 2023. 5. Grand Inga Dam The Grand Inga Dam, a significant hydroelectric power project, is being built quickly in Congo. The gigantic dam, which has the potential to produce up to 70 gigawatts of energy, is appropriately named Great. Congo intends to export some of the electricity produced by the dams to nations in Europe and Africa. For a total of seven or eight dams, the project is expected to cost $100 billion. It is one of the largest construction projects in Africa as a result. We expect the dam to be complete in 2023. 4. Kanza Technopolis, Kenya's Smart City Initiative Kanza Technopolis is located a short distance outside of Nairobi. The project received 2,000 hectares of land from the Kenyan government. The city will act as the focal point for all things IT, research, telecom, and education in accordance with the government's 2030 goal. This smart city will eventually create roughly 20,000 employment at a projected cost of $14.5 billion. The project's development is rapidly approaching completion and we hope it will be done in 2023. 3. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is yet another massive development project in Africa, despite its clouded debate. About $5 billion will be spent on the dam, which will generate 5.15 gigawatts of energy. This is sufficient to meet Ethiopia's electrical needs as well as those of Ethiopia's bordering African nations. The dam's construction started in 2011, however due of the dispute over the dam between Egypt and Ethiopia. Progress has been slow. Interestingly, the project was officially launched on February 20, 2022, by Ethiopian President A.B. Ahmed. One of the turbines was said to have begun producing 375 megawatts of power during the official opening. However, the dam will only run at full capacity in 2023. 2. 
Dango Petroleum Refinery One of Africa's largest producers of crude oil is forced to rely on petroleum imports since Nigeria's refineries are in a terrible state. The largest single-train refinery in the world, Dango is altering that narrative with an indigenous refinery that can handle 650,000 barrels per day. In the Leki Free Trade Zone, Leki, Lego State, the refinery is situated on a 2,635-acre plot of land. It is estimated to have cost more than $12 billion. The refinery is anticipated to be completely operational in 2023. One, a new administrative capital. The new administrative capital of Egypt is being built by the government as a smart city. When finished, the project, which started in 2015, will have space for around 6.5 million people. Up to $58 billion is said to be the overall cost. Moving the different ministries, embassies, palaces, and the parliament to the new structure will cost an additional $45 billion. The solar farm, lush gardens, and theme park are among of the smart city's standout attractions. The project is the most massive on the continent, but as it enters its eighth year of development, we can only hope that it reaches completion in 2023. When you look closely, you can easily see what motivates the continuous building efforts in Africa. African nations want to establish themselves as an economic and cultural powerhouse. This is why the majority of these projects concentrate on solving important issues like energy, transportation, and logistics as well as cultural appropriation. What do you think? Let us know your thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching till the end and please leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any of our future content. See you in the next one. these projects concentrate on solving important issues like energy, transportation, and logistics as well as cultural appropriation. What do you think? Let us know your thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching till the end and please leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any of our future content. See you in the next one.